See this paper right here? Well, this is what you think of when you think of traditional printing. Well, we went to a fair where 2D printing was a thing of the past. 3D printers read blueprints of an object that users download to a computer. So here's the one getting a lot of attention. It's called Form One. It's a 3D printer that raised over a million dollars in three days on a crowdfunding site called Kickstarter. The thing that people are excited about with the Form One, the detail. The technology that we're using really allows us to get much higher resolution. I'm going to want to beat you in chess using this one and you're, not you're this one, You're definitely right? going to want to beat me in chess using this one. <laughs> Good. The Form One uses a different process than most 3D printers. Light as opposed to heat to harden plastic. Tech that was previously too costly. The printer builds support structures around detailed shapes that users can break off after it dries. Similar to the way that people do desktop publishing now, you know, people are going to be designing things and printing them. In general, the crowded field of 3D printers is still wonky tech. It's an acrylate photopolymer. Planetary gear reduction transmission. That... And it's called stereolithography. Okay, say that again. But here's a sign that 3D printing may be becoming mainstream. MakerBot opened up a retail store just recently here in New York City devoted to selling those printers. Being able to go into a retail store and see it in action and touch the things yeah. that it can make, it really opens up people's minds to the possibilities. MakerBot just released its Replicator 2. It's a faster model that produces higher resolution products. Well, I think one of the ways we're different is that this is our fourth generation machine. We've been doing this for a long time. Industrial 3D printers have been around for decades. They've been used for everything from printing prosthetic limbs to food. These are still a couple thousand dollars, but 3D printers are getting closer to household use. Teachers are starting to use them too. A program at NYU deployed 3D printers in schools. They were able to print these buildings, and then what they did is they actually put them out on a sand table and created a river in the sand table and then flooded the river. And what that allowed the kids to do is really see how soil erosion works. Right now, Maker Bottom Form 1 can only print plastic, and a six inch item can take hours to print. But makers say they could spur innovation. If you lost the button on your shirt, you go to the JCPenney website and you want to go online and download like drivers for your printer and like download the new button and hit the print button. 3D printing allows you to communicate ideas tangibly, which is a really, really interesting step. So much cooler than this, right? I think so. Lori Siegel, CNN Money, New York.